All right, back to that breaking news we brought you at the top of the show, talking about the Washington Commanders and a long 24 years for the fans there. Relief, though, may be on the horizon. Yeah, NFL owners, they just met to vote on whether to approve the sale of the team from Dan Snyder to Josh Harris, and that vote just took place. Mm -hmm. Connor Real, what do we know about this so far? Well, what we know is that it's over. As of about 15 minutes ago, this is happening. The old Washington Commanders owner, is now Daniel Snyder and he presided over the team for 24 years in that time they won two playoff games all along one of the league's cornerstone franchises and fan bases eroded and faded from national relevance but enough with the negativity because that's not what today is about today is a celebration because out with the old and in with the new the old the new. This is Josh Harris. He will be the primary owner. He's joined by Magic Johnson, DC billionaire Mitchell Rails, and David Blitzer, who is a part of Harris's ownership group with the Philadelphia 76ers and New Jersey Devils. If those are test cases, not bad. Each made the playoffs in their respective leagues last season. And after Snyder was the youngest owner to ever buy a team at the time of his purchase, Harris brings experience. He's expected to immediately begin the search for new revenue streams and the big one, a new arena stadium, if you will, for the Washington Commanders. Now he is addressing the media right now. We will have sound from him at six o'clock, but we also have some breaking news. NFL Network insider Tom Pelissero immediately following up the end of the owners meeting with news of a $60 million fine for Snyder on the way out as a result of the independent investigation into workplace misconduct in the organization. He did get $6.05 billion for this sale, so I think he'll be okay. But it was unanimous. Every single owner voted to approve the sale. Back to you guys.